Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one tutorial, we're learning about how to work with templates, how to work, how to save or render HTML in Iris, right? So let's see how to work with it. So this is what we did in this tutorial. So let me clear all of this thing and let's start from scratch, right? So the basic stuff we need is that we need a main package, right? Then you have to import the packages that you work with, a particular package called Iris. We create a simple function to initialize it, then our listening port, right? So that is the basic idea about it. Now let's see how to work with it, right? how to render HTML inside it. So the first simple way to render HTML is just with app.get, right? the particular route that you are going to, and the name of the, the location of the route, which is the URL, right? and then create a function, cts for contest, then iris.contest, have it. Then just go to create a function where we're doing all the stuff we want to do. That is a basic simple tool. Now let's see how to the first method of saving a file. Right, this is going to be our method one. So just you can just go start with the cts dot save file. Right, save and the ctf dot cts. Right, the contest dot save. So we have save content save file. So let's use the save file. Right, that's what we're using. So cts for content dot save file then you can supply the particular file that you want to supply so the name of the file that i'm supplying is let's say index.html right so it can be any file then let's say it's at false because it takes two arguments so we have the file name and then the compression right to so false or true so now let's save it and let's create this particular file we're just going to create a file and then place in the same directory same location as our app right so the name of this is going to be our let's go to index dot html five right so perfect so that's what we're creating simple and let's create it as let's call it a simple block let's say my block the name of the stuff we do doing and then let's place in some simple stuff so my iris block let's go right something like this let's save it perfectly so now because this is inside the same location, same directory, I can save this particular file should I with it. So if I save it and then let's run it again, so I'll close it and let's run our server. So run app go, right? Go run app go. <laughs> Let's run the particular file for us. Perfect. Allow access. So now let's run it again. So if I run it, perfect. See that is saving this my Iris blog with go right with the title game. So it is saving the particular file. So that is the first method of rendering HTML. So you can use this method. And then this one too can also be used in case it's even in a folder. Right. So let's create one with the folder. Inside the folder. So you can also run, put it inside the folder. So let's create a simple folder. And let's call it as you can give it any name, right? But let's call that views or templates. So views that the views folder or the template folder. Then inside here I can just supply whatever thing I want to do. So let's call that home. HTML, right? Okay, so inside this home.html, I'll copy and paste this here. Then let's call it as home, right? So my blog, this is going to be home, home, sweet home, iris, something like this. So this is going to be something different. And the title here is going to be home page. So with this particular format, I can save it from inside a particular folder, right? So this is inside the folder from here we have these views here and then we have the app here so inside this folder we have our home here so i can actually save it from here so let's check it again here we have here we have our views folder set our views we have our home file right so that is the basic stuff so we can save it from this particular stuff so how do we do that using the save file so that just going to go the same format that we have so i'll just create another route and this route is going to be home route then save file then the location is views that is how to do that so you're just going to be to that particular location so let's save it then let's run it as we have been doing so far so now we have it is working well so if i move to my home file my home route to home oops you see what i made <laughs> it's supposed to be home here Oh, that index. So let's 
shut down and then start over so if I run it here perfect home sweet home right so it is saving it from the folder that you have perfect so that's one of the ways of working it so we have a method one right in it this is the same method and the next method is going to be our method two so method two and remind you that although it is saving the file it's not just only ATM we can save any kind of file so let's try that one so that you can see what I mean but right. that can save any kind of file so let's call it as a file something inside our view folder that is not let's call that image so my image dot png right you can save any kind of file not just dot png and then it has an image so we can actually save an image so let's call it as a uh, my image or let's give it as something different so iris go right so that is the name of let's check it and see we have an image here we have iris go right iris go that's the image you want to save you can actually save an image so iris go png so let's save it so let's call this one as image save it and then let's run it again and see control c to shut down and then let's start over Perfect our access. So perfect is working. So if I come back to here and I change it to image, right? Just like the name here, and I click on it, perfect is seven. So it's not just seven only HTML files, it can save almost any kind of file, right? So that is seven it here, right? That is the advantage of using the save file. So that is first method. Now let's move on to the second method. So the second method is to use the register, right? So a middleware or any of the menu or any of the templates in pages. Now let's see how to work with it. It's going to be quite simple. So the second method is going to be quite simple. So we have to first of all register it. So let's call it as register. You have to register the app that register right register view. So register view then go to apply the particular stuff to iris dot atml. So it can be iris dot atml iris dot handlebars Iris.pork, it can be several of them. Uh, Iris.pork, punk, punk, I said punk. <laughs> right, so let's work with the ATML. So Iris.ATML, that's the kind of templates in engine you are going to use. Then just apply the location of wherever the folder is. So it's inside my views folder, right, and then the kind of stuff that you are picking. So inside here, I'm picking every HTML. Inside, right, so that's the kind of extension I'm working with. So that's how to register a particular template. So we're working with the HTML, right? You can also use maybe handlebars. So in that case, it's going to be like this. In case you're using handlebars, it's going to be like handlebars, right? Handlebars. In case you're using Django or you're using something different, it is very, very interesting. In case you're using Ember or you're using PUG, right? Pop can also use the same thing. So in this case, this is going to be handlebars. HBS, then pack is going to be TUG, right? So there are several ones you can use, several templates to support. Very, very interesting. So that's how to work with it. In case you have to first of all register the engine, the particular template the engine that you want to use. Now let's move on to the next step that we're working with. So after registering it, you can just create your route. So let's create our simple word app dot get. Let's use the one above here. Was the same thing right to our competition then from here we're just going to create let's call it as let's say about so about and then here it's not going to be saved anymore and we're not going to be using the particular stuff they have registered it and also using the contest dot view right so your the contest of view allows you to view that particular stuff so it's going to go to that particular directory and then pick that particular stuff so we, we are going to pick the about dot html Right, if you don't need to supply the direction, just go to the result. It's going to look into this particular place. In case this was template, it's still going to look at it in that same location. So let's create another file inside our views and then let's call it as about.html. Then let's paste in some interesting stuff. Let me copy this, paste it here, right. So it's going to be about page. So home suite home no more. About Iris web frame. 
Now let's go back and then let's run and see what it's going to do. So we'll close it and then let's start. Okay, so I will switch home is working. So if I move back to my about here, go there, just about. Perfect. So about Iris, where the good is coming from here. Right. So that's one of the advantages. The second method. The advantage of using the second method is that it allows you to be able to place in your own templates, right? Your own like something like ginger. Now let's see how to do that. So it's going to be something like this to, to put in a particular value that you want to use. I just go with let's say contest dot view data, right? So with the view data, I can be able to view a particular data set I want. So let's say I want to put in something. So what do I want to put? I can put in something like let's say let's say first name. Right? First name. And then I just supply the name that I want to say Jess Caris. Right? Something like this. So just say J Caris, something like this. Simple. So this is the name that I'll be using inside my about page. Right? So from here. So this article was written by and use the stuff the ginger right it's, it's like ginger but it's not ginger <laughs> so this then goes to do dot then my first name perfect so that is it right so this can be first name can be any name so let's go to this first name here so we are using this one we are referring to this particular stuff here right that's what we are referring to here right so dot don't forget the dot dot first name. Perfect. So now let's save it. Then let's run it. So by this case, now it's automatically going to send this here to this particular route. To this particular ATM. Let's save it. Let's start over again. Perfect. So perfect. So if I come back to my iris here, so this article was written by Jesse J. Carrots, right? So that is coming from here. That's how to work with it in a very simple and a very nice way. So you just with a with the register view, the second method you can supply any kind of test, right? Any kind of stuff variables, parameters that you want inside your about page, inside your HTML. That is the second method. So thank you for watching this long tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, I just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.